Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Monday, July 1st, 2024, and today I'm doing a COVID-19 update. Well, folks, there's another new fast-tracking COVID-19 variant making the rounds this summer. It is called LB.1. But before I talk about LB.1, let me just update what is the situation with all the COVID variants. According to the CDC, for the period ending June 22nd, 2024, it's the flirt variants, folks. KP.3 accounts for 33% of infections in the United States. KP.2 at 20.8% and KP.1 at 7.5%. These three flirt variants represent over 61% of all COVID cases sequenced in the United States. And they've been showing up in other countries, including Canada and the UK. So now I'm going to turn back to LB.1, the new kid on the block. It is now representing 17.5% of infections in the United States. So what do you need to know about this new LB.1 variant? Well, according to the CDC, there's no evidence that it's causing more severe disease. Its parent is JN.1. Now, LB.1 seems to have uh, a potential to be more infectious. Now, its prevalence looks to be largest in HHS Region Number 2, Health and Human Services Region 2, which includes New York and New Jersey. Now, according to the CDC, 31% of all COVID cases in HHS Region 2 are estimated to have been caused by LB.1. Now, LB.1 and KP.3 are closely related, and all of them are descendants of the JN.1 variant. So what about the COVID tests? Well, they should be able to detect these new strains that are related to JN.1. Also, your antiviral treatments, including Paxlovid, which is the primary treatment for most people with COVID, uh, is relatively variant proof and it's supposed to act well against this new uh, LB.1 uh, variant. Now there's a preprint publication by Japanese scientists and they predict that LB.1 and KP2.3 will become major circulating variants worldwide in addition to KP.2 and KP.3. So the bottom line, folks, is COVID is still present. It's important to stay vigilant. Please protect yourself and others by getting vaccinated, wear your mask in crowded places, wash your hands, and stay home if you're sick or not feeling well. Together, we can keep our communities safe and happy. So be careful, folks. Stay safe and protect yourself. COVID-19 isn't over. Take care.